So we're going to perform two different constructions. So this first construction is we're going to construct a perpendicular line from a point that is on the line. So this can be found in page 56. Okay, so this is um, perpendicular. drawn from a point, and this is the difference between the two constructions on the line. The next one we'll do is a point off the line, still making a perpendicular line to another segment. Okay. So your directions are on page, what did I say, 56? Thank you, Haley. Okay, so I would draw a line, we'll just draw it halfway down here with your straight edge. Bless you. We'll call this line M as in Mary. Then I want you to put point C anywhere on this line. My suggestion would be to put it somewhere in the middle. It doesn't have to be directly in the center, but that way it gives you room. So I'm going to put point C right here. Then I have to draw a line that's perpendicular through that line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create arcs on this line. And my arcs are going to be equal distance from C. So I'm going to take my compass, whether it's the pointy or uh, the safety, and I'm going to put my brad or the pointy part over my point C. Make sure that you've actually made a point there and it's not a, like a little hash mark. You've got to be able to see the point. Then you need to choose any setting on your compass will do. So to make a setting on your compass, that's going to cross your line. And I want to make an arc mark here. I'm going to make an arc mark on the right using the same setting. I'm going to make it, and don't, well, try not to do what I just did because I drug my, my pen. And I'm going to make an arc mark there. I prefer you don't drag it there because we're going to have some other arc marks there in a minute. And I'm going to label these points A and B. But actually physically make a dot and make a dot. A and B. So essentially what I've created is a midpoint. True? Mm -hmm. So then you want to choose a setting on your compass. We're going to start at A. That's a little bit more than halfway past C. Um, you don't want it all the way over here, but we want somewhere a setting that's going to get us like right about here. So I'm going to take my safety compass or the pointy part of your compass and I'm going to put it over point A. And I'm going to choose a setting that's bigger than C. So I'm going to choose this point right here. Make sure you keep your pen, your pencil in that point. I'm not going to make an arc there. I'm going to make an arc up here. Remember, X marks the spot. Then I want to keep my pencil in that hole, and I want to swivel this brad over to B, or your pointy part over to B, and hold it in place, and then make another cross, and it should make an X. I'm a little shy of my X. Where's my arc? So, X marks the spot. Isn't it directly above C? Yeah. If I were you, I would put a point right here where X marks the spot, and then take your straight edge, not hand draw it. Take your straight edge, and you can go all the way through C. I don't care, or not. It's your choice. But this line is perpendicular. That means that this line should measure what? How many degrees? Because we made an angle there at um, C, right? So it should make 90 degrees, correct? So if I took my handy dandy protractor and put it on here, how well did we do? We're directly on the money, aren't we? So yay. So that is your perpendicular line drawn from a point that is actually on the line. So the next construction, we're going to draw the same thing, but with a point that's off the line up here going down there.